and we're still on the road for community manifesto. Our bus has stopped in the Navongo Central constituency. Now, this constituency is one of the constituencies which we have been waiting to come to because we've heard a lot about the political climate of this place and the work that has gone into preparations for the December 7th elections. We've arrived here. The youth are gathered. I think this is one of the biggest crowds that we've seen for Community Manifesto. And they've been here for hours. They've been here for approximately eight hours waiting for us to begin. And so we're all set and ready. We are happy to have with us the parliamentary candidates representing the NPP and the NDC also here with us. But more importantly, we have the members of the community who are here and ready to speak to the issues confronting them in this constituency, as well as the things that they are considering um, when they decide who to choose for to be their member of parliament for this constituency come election day. So like we always do, our microphones are here and active. We will begin with five comments from each side. But before that, let's hand the microphone over to the leaders who are here to introduce themselves to us. Yes, sir, please, can you introduce yourself? Thank you very, very much, Na, and welcome to Navarongo Central. Thank I'm indeed you. grateful that you brought this uh, to us. It's an opportunity uh, for us to let the people of Navarongo and beyond um, know what our issues are and how we intend to address them. My name is Simon Akibange Awurugo, the NDC parliamentary candidate for Navarongo Central. Thank All you. All right, sir. Please pass the microphone. Please pass the microphone. Um, I'm so grateful to TV3 um, having ha been here with us this afternoon. I'm the chairman of uh, the winning party, NDC, Nevrungo Central. Um, my name is Ada Akwaro Sefas. Akwaro means NDC fear nobody. So my name is Ada Akwaro Sefas, NDC Chairman of Ringo Central Constituency. We are so grateful you are here with us to oh. listen to our problems and we all get Pleasure Thank is you ours. Very much. Yes, sir. Kindly introduce yourself to us. Hello. I am the action man for Navrungo Central. And I... To deliver. So I'm grateful that TV3 is in my constituency today for this committee manifesto program. And I'm praying that we do it in a brotherly manner. Yes. Because Navrongo is one Navrongo. It does not belong to anybody. That is why we are all here as leaders to see how we can develop the Navrongo that we have. It is only one, one Navrongo. If we cannot develop it, leave it. If we can develop it, Go ahead and develop it. So we are here to listen to the electorate, those who have the votes, to tell us exactly what their expectations are. And I am sure that everything is possible. All right. And who are you here with? And my name, my name is Alhaj Otito Wese Achuluo. Achuluo means love for all. Hatred for none. All right, um, Honorable MC, please introduce yourself as well. Yeah, my name is <coughs> my name is Joseph Adongo. The, nobody has assigned any chairman to come here. My name is Joseph Adongo, the Municipal Chief Executive. We are glad we are here. We will listen to you. We will tell you what we have done in Navrongo. Thank Amazing. you very much. Amazing. Thank you so much. And now that we know who and who is here, we are going to activate the microphones now. Um, we'll, take, we'll take five questions or issues from here and then we'll come here. I encourage you to keep your submissions short so we can have a lot of people come to the microphone. And also, if you have issues or questions, please go straight to the point, okay? L let's, let's do that. Please, uh, <coughs> please go ahead. Okay, my, my name is Dominic Anargine. Uh, I, I want to, there's an issue that is of great concern to the people of Navrongo, 
and the youth in especially. There is an issue at the IICO where the director has reached the retirement age and never you know of the of the organization race issues that he should retire. But as we speak now, he's still at post. So we want to find out what as people who are in government, we have the MC representing the president here. We want to find out what has happened to that issue. Because we know Vrongo is known for people who respect the law, people who are revered for their dignity and civility. We do not understand why someone has attained the retirement age, labor has raised issues and is still at post. Then again, the MPP tracker that was tracking the development projects in the country has tracked a non existing project in the Vrongo. Subsequently, they said they have a meat factory at Vonania. Our checks show that there's not even a plot of land that has been acquired for that project. That is no a project that is called meat factory in Vonania. That's what I check. So this is so the location, so where we can find that uh, uh, project. Again, the Naga Kolgo Road was on contract when the last government or the previous government was leaving office. As to speak, we want to know the state of development on the Kolgo Naga Road because it is a road that is of prominent importance to the people of Vonania, Ghana, Biu, Kolgo, and Naga. Thank right, you very much for the you. opportunity. Please keep it short when you come, okay? Please keep it short. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, TV3. My name is Albin Awo Asrabutinga, NDC Constituency Deputy Organizer. My question goes to the parliamentary candidate for MPP. He has promised to the youth of Navrongo Central that he is going to complete the Navrongo Youth Resource Center, popularly known as the Navrongo Stadium, before election, then that he is going to launch his campaign manifesto and campaigns at that particular place. As it starts now, today is 56 days to elections. There's nothing that is ongoing. I don't know if it's a deception to the youth of Navrongo or what is it. Then my second question goes to him again. The former late MP, Honorable Joseph Kofiada, may he so rest in peace, was planning of doing underground library just beside the hospital. That manhole has been turned to one village, one dam, for the past eight years. And my last question, my last question now, huh, still goes to him. We have been promised by Nanadu and his government, Bormia, that every constituency is going to be getting one million dollar cities in every year. One million dollars every year. And up to now, now, that money, we don't know whether it has been coming to Navrongo or not. If it has been coming to Navrongo, what has the assembly been using that money to do All in right. Navrongo? Thank All you right. very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Yezu. Hey, yes, sir. No, 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 no. Please go straight to the point. Don't do that. Okay, go ahead. Speaking to the microphone. Yeah. yeah. Um, some people have been touting themselves as speaking to the microphone. I speaking to the microphone. I want, I want to do practical demonstration here of practical economics. Way back in 2016. Yes, 2016. This quantity of granite was sold at a price of 10 pesos. This is a cake. And this was sold at 10 pesos. Today, those who tout themselves as, as economists, as economists, it is one city. One city today, and this is also one city today. Which people are the real economists? Now, <laughs> now, my question. I recall that some time ago, Honorable Otito stated that politics is haram.
I want to find out from Honorable Otito, as, as he is sitting right before us today and want the people of Navrongo to give them a mandate to vote for him to lead them, whether after 20 years, whether politics is no more haram. The second question, way back in 2004, when he lost the primaries with Kofi Adan, he went independent. He went independent. What has happened? Has he, has he been loyal to MPP? Has he been loyal to the people of Congo? We, we demand, we demand Honorable Otito okay. to come okay, and okay, explain okay. everything to us. Okay. Okay. All Hello. Right. Yes, madam. Hello. Yes. Yes, madam. Please, please, I beg, I beg, I beg. We can I hear beg. you. Please, please go ahead. Please. Please, let's be calm. Let's be calm. Let's be calm. Be calm. Silence, please. Order. 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 Yes, madam. Okay. Yeah, my name is Mary Azobam. I am the constituency deputy women's organizer on the ticket of NDC. Before I start, let's silence ourselves just a few minutes to remember our father, Honorable Mark Owen Wuyongo. Mark Owen Wuyongo, the late. Yes. He is the one. Because of Honorable Mark Wuyongo, that is why we are sitting here comfortable. Because of him, we are sitting this place. The station was done by Mark Wuyongo. Let's congratulate him, though he is no more. Second, Listen to me, please, please, please. All right. On behalf of Navrongo Business Women, this is the voice of Navrongo Business Women. Yes. And please, please go please. ahead and talk. We can hear you. We can hear you. This is the voice of Navrongo Business Women. They say, please allow her I to talk. I should present please, this please, please. brief no, message no, no. Allow her to, talk. to each and everyone here that the women. In Navrongo, especially the business women, we are suffering a lot. They are crying. It's about the new market set, which they have paid their money to be given land. And today, the whole market is full of water. There's no place to sit when this is raining. And now, things are costly. They can't buy anything. If you are okay. to buy things, buy cities. Last week, this is today. It's now 10 series. Okay. Life today is very, very tough. So they are pleading to the government to come to their aid. Okay. Please, the women will cry to this new government. Okay. Which is Maria and Nana Akufu Ado. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Last person from here, please. Last person. To ask Naa yes, sir. we are putting it on record. We, you know, Navrongo and Para is the border town to Burkina Faso. Yes. And when Baumia was campaigning for the 2020 elections, he said they were going to construct railway road from Cape Coast to Para. Up to now, we want to find out as to whether. That particular railway has been constructed to Paga. All that right. is my question. All Thank right. you. Thank you, sir. And the station that we are seated here, it is the handwork of NDC. Ever the, the eight years that MPP has come to power, they cannot show us any developmental project in Navrogo here. Tell them if they can point out to us one monumental infrastructure that they have constructed, we are here to hear them out. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we're going to come to this side. You have five, five people from here can speak. Please, you have one minute each. And as I advise that we stick to issues pertaining to this constituency and not national issues because those are the questions that can be answered by your leaders here. All right, please go ahead. Thank you very much for the opportunity. My name is Yeji Ada Nelson. Please speak into the Prior microphone. Prior to the 2020 elections, the NDC promise the good people of Navrongo that should we give them our mandate, they were going to establish 
a youth and skills development center to promote employment of the youth of Navrongo. We heard them and gave them our mandate. Till date, we don't even see our MP, neither is he able to deliver on that promise. Number two, number two, going forward, the NDC has again promised that and in their manifesto, they have said that there will be 24 hour economy. And in that 24 hour economy, His Excellency, former President John Dramani Mahama, has made us known that there will be discotheques as part of the 24 hour economy. I want to ask whether Honorable Simon Awurgo subscribed to the discotheque and night class and how it will be operationalized in Navrongo. We want to know. Number three, there is a topical issue in Ghana at now about Galamse. We want to know the position of Honorable Simon Awurgo and the NDC, whether they support the banning, the total banning of Galamse in Ghana or not. We want to know the, the position of the NDC today. And then, okay. if you look at the history okay. of Navrongo, since 1992, any time that the NDC assumed the MP position, the development of Navrongo is always retrogressing. The time that Honorable Kofiada came, we saw a lot of youth employment. We saw a lot of developments that were ongoing. When Honorable Makuyo came, we saw nothing. Then Kofiada came again. A lot of the youth were being employed. A lot of the developments came. Then Makuyo came. Development retrogressed. Then Honorable Kofiada came again. And we saw development progressing. Okay. When okay. Okay. That, that's your time. That's your time. Please let somebody else speak. Let somebody else speak. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm Jerry Ada, a member of the communication team, MPP. For sure, I would like to respond to a few of what my opponent said about the Nevrongo Naga Road. It has been there for the past okay. eight years when they were in power, but nothing was done about it. But thank God to our PC Honorable Otito and the MPP government, this construction of the road has started and it is progressing. See, steadily. And now, also to talk about it, thanks to our, thanks to our Honorable Otito Achuluwa, who has been playing a major role when it comes to education in Navrongo Central constituency. Why? Because our educational office was cut off from the national grade. He was the one who facilitated, who facilitated for the payment of that electricity and is restored and children of Navrongo are enjoying now. So I think I want to put a question. There is a question I now want to put to our, 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 our opponent's candidate. When he comes, when he comes, when he comes, he said he's there for the people. For how many times has he been spending his time in Navrongo? And what time will he have to spend with the people of All Navrongo right. to grow? Thank you very much. All right, next person, please. Hey, I want to ask one question. Okay, From go the ahead. other side, I heard our people said, no, it's on, it's on. I heard our people said, Kofiada has dug a hole in the name of library for the past eight years. I want to ask. He was under NDC administration. He was always able to dig a hole. What did something do for the past four years? Something, one thing. They should mention for me. What did something do for the past four years? They should tell me. One thing. All right. Um, thank you so much. I am Donald Abowino. In fact, I'm so much happy to air my views on TV3 today to tell the world that MPP government has been good to Ghanaians. I am a beneficiary of the Free Senior School, and I want to just elaborate on some of the things that our able PC Otito will be able to do on the educational sector. 
We have a new built uh, primary block at Naga. He is able to facilitate and pay 18, 18 students school fees. There was, there was a lady, there was a lady who was raped at Navasco. Otito supported this lady and paid her fees to go to veterinary college. Otito is able to distribute dual debts, 12 for 12 basic, uh, basic schools in Navrongo Central. Otito has been able okay, to okay. drink so, a bowl so hole. Hear himself. He can speak for himself. Yes. But so I want, to ask, I want to ask a to question. Ask, ask. Yes, I want yes. to ask a question. And my question is, uh, my question is going to the chairman of Navrongo Central for the NDC. The chairman. I wish Aurugo was able to answer that question, but because uh, he's not well vested in Navrongo, because this is his first time, his first time voting in Navrongo is the DC Assembly lesson. So, Chairman, Chairman NDC, Mama, Mama has been singing about 24 hour economy. Mama has been singing about 24 hour economy. I want to know, Chairman, what is the 24 hour economy bene benefit to the people of Kolkozua? I'm from Kolkozua. How will the 24 hour economy benefit the people of Kolkozua? Chairman, I want Chairman to do, to do that explanation to me. And then, my second question, my second question, my second question goes to uh, the PC. My second person goes to the PC. I want the PC to tell me. I want the PC to tell me how. Now that now that this is his first time or his first time for voting is the disassembly lesson. He don't know the constituency. He should tell me three problems in Zua electoral area that when he comes he will be able to address them. Now right. that he doesn't know us. All right. Okay. Yes. Hello. Uh, before I will start, I would like to say big up to okay. Neville Pio for his kind gesture. Uh, they have uh, they have first speaker made mention of a uh, community uh, Please use the mic. Ico Road. Wait, wait. Ico Road. That road, that very road, is tied by MPP. Ebu, Natunia Road. Is considered by MPP government. Understand? So when we talk about development in Navrongo, MPP, where is our current MP? He is no more here. So we should vote for this man and he will leave us here. Anytime we are looking for our MP, we cannot trust our MP. Yeah. We are not ready to give the power to NDC. Okay. Our current MP is not here. We can't trust our current MP in okay. Navrongo. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. One more person. One more person. Yes, sir. Please tilt the microphone so you can. Yeah. Hello. Yes. My question goes to the bugger who is a first time voter in Abrongo here. Yeah. Yes. 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 They are our leaders. They are taking for power to go and save us. And none of his family is here. To none of none of his family is in Abrongo here. So who is he going to save? Okay. 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 So all right. All right. All right. All right. So. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yes, sir. Please conclude and then we can allow our leaders to speak. So, how are we safe if we trust our faith in Insans that is going to promise to save us to come? We, we, the, we the constituents, how are we safe to trust power in Insans to come and save us? All right. Because we, we are in Ghana here, majority of us, they take medical care in abroad. Okay. So, so, once his, so, once his family is not here, what is the assurance? Is we, we <laughs> All right, it's okay. We, we, we understand your question. We understand your question. I'm going to come here now. Um, Alaji. 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 Okay. So, please, please calm down. You have asked your questions. Now allow your leaders to respond, okay? Can we have some silence, please? You've asked your questions. Let's allow our leaders to respond.
No, that's it. Five people, that's it. Five people. No, no, five people, that's it. That's it. Five people, so that's it. We'll come back. We'll come back. They were not five, more than five. All right. We'll come back. No, we'll come back. Please, please. Yes, that's five. That's it. Okay, please, please calm down. Um, Alaji, let's begin with you. The first question was on a youth resource center. Alaji, let's answer their questions now. The first question was on a youth resource center. Um, can, you, can you speak to that? Hello. I, I said emphatically that I am going to do my last rally at the youth resource center. And my last rally is going to be on the 5th of December. And I still say that on the 5th of December, I am going to do my last rally in the youth resource center. What? what? Please, 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 please. The 5th of December is just about four to five weeks away. What's the current state of the youth resource center? 5th of December is just about five weeks away. What's the current state of the youth resource center? Uh, the youth resource center has, is in phases. The phase one is 90% complete. And yes, it is 90% complete. And that phase one will be completed before we go for the election. So the phase one so is what? Is it the, the foundation even, even, or even what? With, even, within, even within three, four weeks, when the contractor lands on the place, he will complete the project. So the contractor is not on site now? Uh, the contractor is not on site because there are legal issues. There are legal issues yes. with and the land? On the, on, the, on the contract. Okay. Yes. So and it which, has stalled which, the yes, work? Yes, which we have, we have the money to, to, to clear. So there's no longer a legal issue? It's, yeah, we've cleared, it, we've cleared it. The Minister of Finance has released funds for the contractor to get back to site. Okay. And I am, I am certain that within the next few weeks, the controller will so be So we can site. hold you to this, that yes. on the 5th of December, yes. we can come back here. So if, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now, let, let's come to the question about the underground library. They say it has become a dam. The underground library. Yes, you, you can answer. Go ahead. Um, Thank you, thank you very much. About, about, about the library, about the library. I think that, I think that it is answers that we want. It is answers that we want. I want to give you information about the library. Yes, please go ahead. In the first place, that library that people are seeing is not something that is sponsored by government. It is Honorable Kofi Adelaide. Who acquired that land? He used his own resources to work on that place. So why are people talking as if it is government money that they have used? So their question is. So so what so, is happening to it so, now? So the MP who is no more, the MP is no more. He has started something. Why is he not continuing? Why are they not continuing the project? So 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 we should not talk as if it is something that has been started by using government money and it has stalled and it's not working on. No. He promised. The, the current MP promised. Why is he not working on it? So we are so we are surprised people are taking this thing to a different level. Okay. So so um just just to inquire you you are clarifying that it is personal projects that he started. Yes. yes. And unfortunately he's no more. Now yes. is the party interested in completing the project? Obviously we are, we are interested, okay. but it's a huge project that we have to organize ourselves to come back. You cannot just go and start something that you don't know what it is about. This is a personal thing. You need to go for the documents. You need to see how you can sit with other people, even the family members. Are they ready to allow the plan for you? You can just go on there. So what how long do? has it been so there for? Goes, who is from the party? How long has it been there for? Oh, it's, it's, it's up to four years. It's up, it's up, years. It's up to four, four years. years. Yes. So that's a bit of time. Yes. You see? That's a bit of time. Yes. 
So I am saying that I am saying that you are not aware. You are not aware that the, the former MP is not alive. I'm not. I don't know whether you are aware. Yes. That he's not alive. Yes. So you expect somebody who is not alive, who started a project with his own resources, people to come and take over and start working on it so within, within a short time. So would it be abandoned? It, no. That's why we are saying uh -huh, that. You are interested vote in for yes. It. Vote for the MP from MPP. Before to come and continue. He, before he will come and yes. continue. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let, let's let's go on to the next question. Let's go on to the next question, please. So the the next question you were asked about was about. 1 million Ghana cities per constituency. The question was, have you received 1 million Ghana cities? Yes, I'll answer that question and my MP will add to it. The MC, yes. Have you received 1 million Ghana cities? Yes, you see, when, when, when MPP speaks, we speak and we deliver. When it is not 1 million Ghana cities, they said $1 million to each constituency, but they did not say every year. They said oh, it's one million, five million dollars to each constituency. It's in our manifesto, and, and, and we have, as at now, as we speak, as I speak, the part the government has brought drip machines to every constituency. Those drip machines are worth more than eight billion cities for each constituency. If you, if you so convert, it's part of it. yes, if, yes, if you convert the the, the the cost of the drip machines. I share it even per year. You can get the one million dollars plus. So those drip machines that have come, those drip machines are going to be used to open up the the, the constituency, the municipality. It will open up the, the municipality. It will distill dams in the municipality. It will it will construct roads in the municipality. Okay, so, so you're it saying... is a development oriented uh, okay. program. So you're saying the one million which was promised was not actual money to be given to the constituency. No, nobody said they ought to give actual money to the constituency. That's, that's what you're saying. That it is for all sorts of development. So if machines are deployed and so on, it's all part of that money. That's what you're saying. Do, do you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to add. I think that, I think that people are misunderstanding this, this, this uh, contract at all. It's not about giving this amount to the constituency. No. Okay. That is not it. It is the projects that they bring out of that amount. So why you come to Nevrongu here? Okay. Go to the hospital. There are projects that are there that is from that constituent that, that okay. amount. So okay. we shouldn't talk as if there's some money that has been given to come to the constituency and this is the money lying down and this is what we are using. No. no it comes in projects. It's because of the yes. statements that was made that an allocation will be made for its constituency. Yes. That is why there is the expectation that allocation will be in actual funds. Yeah. No, no, it, it is for that, so, that's so the wrong perception. That the wrong that perception the, that people have that, that about that money. Okay, yes. we see. Yes. Now, the, the woman who spoke asked about help for the women in the constituency, particularly business women. She said there are lots of business women in this constituency. They want to find out how the government would support the women in the constituency with their businesses. Um, are you aware of any projects, or are you planning? On any projects which will help the women, the business women in the constituency. Thank you, Th thank you very much. I was thinking that you will give us the opportunity. You you will give us the opportunity to tell you what we have done in this constituency, so that you take it from there. You know what you have laid the ground for the work. What have you done now, for the women? Now we have a BAC center in Nvrongo, a newly built center there. We are training women on the income generating uh, activities. We have trained women, we are just next week, we'll start another one. We have identified women, we have identified people who are vulnerable. And this is what we are doing, to train the women to be capable on their own. After that, we'll give them credit to start on with their work. You are giving that them is credit. what we are doing. So you are giving yes. them loans? We'll, yes. The women? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let me, let me come to you, sir. Let me come to you, sir. Uh, a lot... I beg your pardon. Did you, did you say something? Yes, in addition to the training, because when we, when we train the women and give them the skills, we are going to give them capital to start the, 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 their, their, their business. I think he mentioned that you'll be giving them credit. Exactly. All right. Now, let, let's come to you, sir. It appears a lot of the sentiments or concerns that have come from the microphone on this side is that you are not very present in the constituency. Is that correct? Thank you very much, Nana. Uh, let, me, let me start by saying that I was born in Novungo Central. 
at the War Memorial Hospital. I attended you primary school here. in the Bronga Central. Um, before my parents moved to the Bronga Half region. Indeed, I live and work in the United Kingdom. But it is important to state that I have more presence in the Vrongo Central than the, uh, uh, the candidate who lives in Accra. I, any time I come to Navrongo, I spend more time in Navrongo than the candidates. I can tell you that I am more effective in Navrongo, and I'll be very happy if your crew can play on this uh, on your on the on the cameras what I have done in Navrongo. Not just physical presence, but what I have done to make sure that the lives of the people of Navrongo improves. I have done so much than even their old government have done for the people of Navrongo. I will beg of you to allow me them to play something for me on TV, if you don't mind. It is about some water projects. We, we, we will. But you, we will play. But That's you, right. You can go ahead and speak. Good. Thank you. They say that they say they don't see you, that this is the first time they are seeing you in this constituency. You see, it is typical of the MPP that any time they are losing, they hang on to a thin thread. I can tell you, like I said earlier on that, I am ever present than their candidate. I am always in Navrongo Central. I came here and won the parliamentary primaries because the people of Navrongo Central know that I am somebody who will be available to work for them. Indeed, if they did not like me, I did not come to fight to get it. It is the work I have done and the fact that I have confidence in my leadership to lead the constituents. that's why they voted for me. He knows very well as a candidate that I have more positive energy out there towards me than he has. And so, that is just something that they put out there as propaganda because they have nothing more to say apart from saying that I'm not here. It's a global village. And yes, indeed, we are all free to work where we are. He does not live in Navrongo Central. He comes to Navrongo Central as and when he thinks he needs to be around. Ask him if he lives here. I know him from the Bronga Hafo, where he used to be the manager for Ghana Telecom. When he was in uh, uh, Bronga Hafo region, I was there with him. And so he does not live here. It is... It will be unfair or even wrong for them to say that I do not live here. When their own candidate is never here present. All right. Now, the last... Calm down, calm down. The last person who spoke said you should name three things or three problems that you intend to solve if you become the member of parliament. And that is why it is important that now you let them we, roll. We are ready. Yeah, you yes. can go ahead and Let speak. them roll They'll the things that I've done. So you can go ahead and When talk. I came into the constituency, I had, and that is one of the boreholes that I've done for the people of the man who spoke, Congo Zuo, I've given them a borehole. You, that is what I've done. I've given the Broco Central 35 boreholes and we can show all of them here. The evidence is there for you to see. That is it out there. And apart from water, I have also helped to reroute schools that were ripped off by rainstorm. The evidence is there, and they can play it for you to see. When schools were ripped off, I was contacted by head teachers and headmasters of GES. I, I gave money out of the hard work that I do in the United Kingdom to make sure that those schools were reroute. That is what I have done, including his community. In fact, now it will interest you to know that I come from around the same area as him. And so he knows the truth, but for politics, you don't say it. Apart from that, I have helped to re-roof a, 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 Please allow a chip's speak. compound. I have helped to re-roof a chip's compound in his community, Kolgozoa, and I'll be very glad if they play it. If you don't mind, let them play the Kolgozoa. That is the roofing of one of the projects I've done in Abruzzo. Is that a chip's compound? No, that's not a chip's compound. That's a farmer's centre where they do not have a place to stay. And I gave money for them to re-roof it. My, I am out to help my people. It is not about staying in Navrongo Central every day. It is about what you can do to improve the lives of the people of Navrongo Central. And that is what I bring to the people of Navrongo Central. I have done more than just three things. I have done water. I have done help to improve uh, electricity. I have helped to improve even the Navrongo War uh, 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 Memorial Hospital. I have contributed to making sure that they get gloves and consumables. That is what I have done. All right. And they can roll let's, on let's and on. Let's talk about youth unemployment. Let's talk about youth unemployment. Now, youth unemployment is an issue that concerns us nationally, but specifically in this constituency. What are your plans for the youth? Thank you very much. Should you be voted um, into power? Navrongo Central is a constituency where there are very educated young people, but under the NDC government, almost every young, if you count up, if you take 10 young people, and you count about every six of them, they are unemployed. And they have all completed school in the, in the last eight years. What I intend to do 
is to make sure that our young people under the 24 hour economy will get jobs. Because I have always said that I have lived now for 20 years, I lived and worked under a 24 hour economy and I understand what a 24 hour economy can bring to young people. And so under the 24 hour economy, whatever that exists, opportunities there are, I will bring to the people of Navrungo. Apart from that, there will be skills training under our skills program, the NDC policy. We will make sure that we train young people and equip them with the, the equipment that they need. With the you resources train them they in need. what? What are you equip training them, them with the tools that they need to go out and work. If they are learning handiwork, like say carpenters, if they were plumbers, if they were masons, we make sure that we buy equipment for them, the tools that they need to go out so there the and work. So the skills training that you will introduce, I will give to them, and I will give them. You will give them the equipment they to need go to go out work and work. Well. That's correct. For all the unemployed, you. But not the all of them. Like I said, under the 24-hour economy, there will be explosion of jobs, and those jobs, the young people who are here who are unemployed under the MPP will get jobs. And then personally, as a member of parliament, I will train young people and then make sure that I give them whatever they need to go out and work. Apart from that, there are young people who are here who are farmers. It's a farming uh, uh, constituency. Most of the people go into farming. And when I was campaigning to become a parliamentary candidate, I said that I'll provide a centre where there'll be a depository for fertiliser, and that still stands. If I become a member of parliament for Navrungo Central, I'll make sure that fertiliser, which has become a, a night thing, where they are secretly distributed to party members, will be distributed in an open and fair manner. Anybody who needs fertiliser for their farm, it will be given to them. You will not be carrying fertiliser to people at night. We will uh, make sure providing that fertilizer at night? The MPP are currently are giving fertilizer to the party people at, and it's distributed at night. Did you see them distributing yes, fertilizer? Yes, I have the night. evidence. And even their own people, they bring complaints to us. There were recently about a thousand cement bags, uh, fertilizer bags that came. The, 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 the MC is here. Their candidate is here. They are, they are going around sharing fertilizer at night. I am assuring the people of Navrongo that when I get the chance to become a member of parliament, it will be distributed fairly. Every member of every person from Navrongo Central. All right. Can you talk about the other economic opportunities here in right. Navrongo? So, so, aside farming, what are the other viable economic opportunities for young people to be able to take advantage of? Yes. So, our constituency is mainly a farming constituency. Okay. Education, Navrongo Central is an educational hub. And so, we, we, we train a lot of young people. Who, go, who come from a constituency. What I think to do is that, I will, as, a, as a member of parliament, I will lobby for uh, companies that will come here. In fact, under the agri project of the NDC, we will be able to open agricultural businesses, and that will be em bring employment to the young people who are here. Those are the things that I will do, apart from, uh, apart from training them and equipping them with skills. Under the agri uh, uh, program and policy of the NDC, we'll make sure that they get uh, employment in the agri uh, sector. And then also in the public sector, we'll make sure that under the 24-hour economy, the security services will provide them jobs. Those will be some of the things that I will do for them. Okay, um, can, can you speak to the issue of fertilizer? Uh, he... I want to make a point. Yeah. Yes, I want to make a point. Are you sharing fertilizer Hello? at night? We we are gathered here, and I think that I think that we must say the truth here. Everybody is gathered here. Something has just been shown here. We want to clear the air. We want to know the source of that information there. It is not true. So you are here to find out. Let's find out that information that is there. Let's Which find out them? whether it is true or not. Which of them? The, the share that they have there. The, the community roofing. members are here. Yes, the community members are here. It was, not, fine it was not by the people. Yes. Who, yes, who, who by the youth of the place. The youth. Oh. The one who has done it. No, they are saying that the projects we just rolled are not yes. by you. Ah, nah. Let me answer. Let me answer. Yes. Nah. Let me answer. 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 Wait, okay, so let me just, let's calm down, let's calm down, let's calm down, please. All right, so, Mr. Soa, let us okay, have it. Let us have so it. let me just explain to viewers yes. at home, let, let me just explain there. to viewers at home. Um, let us so, have it. So, to our viewers who are watching it. us at home, let we come. played a video just now, and the video we played, Yes. It's a project is it, is it which the parliamentary candidate for the NDC has shown us as a project that he has undertaken. Yeah. 
But the MC is saying, which one? This one? Where the roof? Where the roof? The roofing. The roofing. Okay. So, so the hold on. people are here, and they are going to verify what they have been giving. You are saying so that put it there. the let roofing put it projects there. which we just rolled let is not by the NDCPC. Yes. But let it's let by who? People are here. Yeah, here. It's by the who? You, the youth of the area. Yeah, here. They are here. The youth of the area are here. Put okay. it there. Yeah, put it there. Let's prove. Put it there. Let's put it there. there. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Please go, please go. All right, um, just to explain what's happening here, um, while the NDCPC was speaking, he said that he had done some projects, including the roofing of a church not giving the chance. Which we show on the TV. Now the, the, the FCE is saying that that's not true, and that that project was actually activated by the youth in the constituency. Let me put it there. So we're just trying to you clarify that. You can't fool anybody here. But you can't fool anybody here. That, we Bring it. Put it there. While we clarify you that, wait, we'll come back to the microphones. So um, MCE, MCE. We are trying okay. to clarify that okay. with your people. Okay. So while we do that, let's come back to the microphone. So, and so then when we finish, I hope, we'll come back to you. Hope that you will also give the municipal chief executive to tell everybody here what we have done. When you have your time, you can say what. No, 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 no. It's not about having the time. Yes. You had the time to give it to him. Yeah, you I had the time. You. So it's not even the time to give. I, I don't no, no, tell no, no, me no, what no, you no. say. We have to give the problem. So, when you have your time, you can say what we you want. We have to have that time. All right. Yes. So let's let's come to the microphone. You have to give us the opportunity. Let's come to, yes. let's come to the microphone. Yes. Let's come to the microphone. Give us the opportunity. Microphone. Don't show what we have done. Microphone. Uh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, I want to ask the. I'll come to you. Yes. Uh, there's a new market in Navrongo. Please where... let, let, let him talk. We'll come back to you. You see, why are you shouting? I said I will come back to you, but you are repeating yourself over and over. And I said I'll come back to you, but you are still saying it. And I said I'll come back to you. Uh huh. So let the people speak. Yeah. Thank you. Go Thank ahead. you. Uh, oh. uh, MC. MC. We, we, MC. We are. MC, please tell your MC that I said I'll come to him. And I said I'll come to you to do the same. I am saying I'll come to you to do the same. Can you hear me? I will give you the same opportunity. But you are just repeating yourself. MC, can you hear me? I said I'll give you the same opportunity. But you just keep asking, and I'm saying I will. So just, just so stop, yes, yeah, stop it and let's continue. Yes, yeah, so, so stop it and let's continue. Thank you. All right. Please, please go ahead. Thank you. Now, uh, uh, please, uh, Honorable MC, calm down, calm down. Go ahead. Honorable MC, calm down. He's talking uh, to you. Please, uh, Honorable MC, calm down. Uh, there's a new market in Vrongo here which the NDC started way back. And then when they came to power in 2016, the, the, the current MC sitting here have cut portion of the market and sold to the market women at 1,005 Ghana cities. We want to know what you have used that money for. We want to see the project that you have used that money to do. Uh, after my PC, I have done a lot. And he's able to, he will be able to tell you what he have done. I want, you to, I want everybody to know that where we are sitting here, the, the station here, was constructed by NDC. I want you to know that OLL Girls Senior High School was constructed by NDC. If you go to UDS, if you go to UDS, now known as CK Tedam, we have a lovely complex that was constructed by NDC. We have two-story buildings that, two buildings that are standing there, 
and they have refused to complete them. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Two more, two more, two more. Hello? Yes, hello? Sir. Yes, sir, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Yes, sir. Nakosho. One of the gifts, one of the things that Navrongo is endowed. Hello? Yes, sir. One of the things that Navrongo is endowed with is education. Yes. Look, in Navrongo, even if you meet an old lady and you mistakenly think that she's an illiterate, she will embarrass you. I think you understand the history of Navrongo. That is because the missionaries came from, the, from Burkina Faso and entered here. So Navrongo is endowed with education. So now question, the MC, government, government is a continuum. Government is a continued process. Their own MP initiated a library process. From the submission of the MCE, are they disowning their own MP? Because their MP started the process. He started the process to build a library for Navrongo. And they had eight years. They had eight years to continue building the, the library. Eight, eight years. He says it was a personal no, project. No, 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 no. He You're was saying? building. He was building the library for Navrongo. Yes. Look, With his the former resources. MP was building the library for Navrongo. Mm. And they had eight years to continue his legacy. Ask them why they didn't continue it. Now, question number two. Number two. In 2000, the MPP declared a year of road. The MPP declared a year of road. Ask them to point out one single road that they have constructed in Navrongo. One single road that they have constructed in one, just one. Ask them to go. One single road to ask. I say, ask them. Okay. One single road. All right. Even the empty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. One single road. All right. Ask them to declare. Okay. Let somebody else speak. Let somebody else speak. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Please let somebody else speak. One last person from this side. Please allow the gentleman to speak. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to urge all of us to be patient so that we can listen and air our views straightforward for assistance. It's not only just about Navrongo, but Ghana. Uh, Today, I want to take the opportunity to thank TV3, Nashoka and her team, and to say that the people of Navrongo are so grateful to TV3. And when you go back, extend our heartfelt gratitude to the team there, especially Johnny Hughes. Uh, now, it is evident that we cannot find hope in the parliamentary candidate of the MPP. Because as he's going to parliament, he is supposed to represent the people of Navrongo. And today, opportunity has been provided for us in Navrongo here. And he's not able to articulate even the points that people are asking. He's taking the MC to speak for him. He's not going to parliament with the MC. And that must be made clear. Okay. Now, I have two questions for the parliamentary candidate. Today, Galamse is an existential threat to the people of Ghana. I want to know, I want to know his position on Galamse. The second, the second question is that, the second question is simple. The LGBTQ bill was passed in parliament it is a serious national issue. I know he's a, a pious Muslim. I want to know his position. Because if he wins and goes to parliament, all right. what will be his position on that matter? All right. Now let's come here. Let's come here now. Three, three, three comments from here. Three. Go ahead. Yes, all sir, right. go ahead. Good evening. Hello. Uh, I want to ask uh, the PC. I thought NDC will learn lessons. 
because initially they said uh, Kofi Ada brought developments and MPP uh, uh, came and it didn't go. You are always doing four years, four years. Why didn't you allow something to continue? Kofi went more than Christ. Now you got us something out. I don't know what specially. I don't know what specific our group is bringing. That he has to stop something from proceeding. Yet you say that you want to continue. In any case, why is it that Wayongo came? Did he complete the, the, uh, the library you are talking? Something came. What is for Navrongo interest? It's not only for MPP. Something came. Uh, uh, Wayongo came. Why? So it is for Navrongo. And the Zobolo Bohol is totalized. Let the, uh, the assemblyman for Zobolo, this is the appointee, but let the assemblyman for Zobolo come and say, it's, it's not true, sorry to say a lie, it's not true. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, my first question goes to the PC and the NDC. Please speak into the microphone. Yeah, my first question goes to uh, the PC and the NDC. I want him to tell me, as a teacher and a farmer, how would the 24 hour work for me? Or how am I going to teach? Or how is it going to work? Uh, how is the 24 hour going to be carried out in the teaching profession oh. and the farming profession? Te second, second, second. The, the NDC people are talking of roads. The road from Natunia, from Pungu here going to Natunia, has been constructed by the MPP. Yeah. Oh. The road is lying there. Anybody can go there to confirm. Community road is being constructed by what? MPP. The, the Naga road is being constructed by the MPP. They are youth organizer, they are organizer, they are constituency organizer. Anytime it rains, he could not go his, to his house because the road was not good. But now he can go home anytime it rains. So they should vote number one on the ballot so that you turn Ghana to the, the country we want. Thank you. Thank you. One last person, please. Okay. So this is to, to, to want to tell you that you are not fair because you gave the industry the opportunity to tell the development projects they have done in Abrongo. This is opportunity for us. So the first thing, what I want to tell you is that, what I want to tell you is that, hey, come down. Hey, come down. Hey, 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 come down. Hey, come down. Hey, come down. Hey. All right. Hello, hello. Okay. So, so the first thing I want them to be clear because we are talking about issues. They talked about developmental projects in Abrongo. The first one, the groundbreaking developmental project in this town is the Upper East Water Project, which is cited in Tono. That one. The second one, 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 the second one. Hello, 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 hello. The second one, the second groundbreaking developmental project is the rehabilitation of the tunnel canals, which has given opportunity to over 5,000 farmers for irrigation. The third one is that we have a business promotion office complex that's been built in this Navrongo. The third one is that we have a health insurance office newly built that is ongoing. We have the audit service building that is ongoing. If you go to Naga, we have a clinic that is there. If you go to Kolgo Zongo, we have a clinic that is going. If you go to Naga, we have a police center that's going on. If you go to Naga, we have a clinic. So the issues are clear. So the issues are clear. The issues are clear. So, hello, the issues are clear. It is not unfortunate. It is not unfortunate that we have come to Navrongo. NDC have always voted for uh, NDC in the Upper East region. But when we come to developmental projects, they are massive in Navrongo. If you hear, as I speak, they are talking about they have done A, they have done B. You can realize that they have decided to pick the thing we have done and they are criticizing. What is that one brand greatest thing they have done for the people of Navrongo? So TV3, we want you to be fair because you are not fair. Thank you very much. All right. Everybody calm down. Calm down, calm down. Can we have some silence, please? Silence, silence, silence. Let's all keep quiet. Let's all keep quiet. So, um, 
the, the first time we asked you people to come to the microphone and speak, one of you asked a very specific question. You asked the NDC parliamentary candidate to mention three things that he intends to work on and develop. In answering the question, in answering the question, he began to talk about the things that he is working on. That is what happened. However, I mean, that's, it's, it's not necessary to debate that particular issue. What is necessary is that we continue the conversation. So let's continue. So let's continue. Um, MC, before, before yeah. we went to the microphone, you were trying to clarify something. Yeah, so yes, I, please go ahead. I, I said that... I, what I said... That I want everybody to listen. It's okay. Anybody can speak, please. Any, anybody can speak. Anyone sitting here can speak. Okay. Yeah. What I said is that you have come to Navrongo. And I was happy when you said that let us localize what we are saying here. Yes. yes. So I was expecting you to say, okay, what have you done as MC or MPP in Navrongo here? We have the pictures. We have given you the pictures. Is let us roll the pictures. Let us let the people know. The answers you are supposed done. to give are to the questions that have come. However, if you decide to tell us what you have done, you have the microphone. It's in your hand. Good, but go but ahead you have the and say what you have. The pictures. I want everybody to see and confirm. Your when? your, your when? person is over there. So, or has so left? Yeah. I will start so you with can go education. Ahead and show what you want to show. I'm going to start with education. With education, I, I will mention a few. We have. Started with about 38 projects. But I will just go with one thing. About 38. 38. Now, now, somebody mentioned when you go to Naga now, there's a newly built primary school finished. It is in Naga. Go and check. You are people from Naga here who are aware. Go to Kenya. We have the JSS there that is built and finished. It is there. Go to Pinda, uh, 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 Kenya. You are. Uh, Tarabisi. We have built a JSS. We have finished it. Go to Pinda. We have built a lot of schools. Now, 400, 4,500. That's not the project. These are the projects that we have here in Navrongo. We have the projects here in Navrongo. Anybody, anybody who thinks that we are telling lies to challenge us. Challenge us that these things are not there. They should challenge us that we don't have this. The things are there, the names are there. So let people challenge us that we don't have it. So all these things are, this is a new TV school we have introduced in Nabrongo here. New TV school. It is in Nabrongo here. We have three of them in Nabrongo. We have four boroughs. We have, we have three boroughs all over in Nabrongo. Security. Security. We have a police station at Naga. We have a 16 policemen who are staying there. There used to be robbery at that place, but because of the police station, we do not have any robbery at that place again. Because we have police station who are stationed there. Now, when you come to street lights, we have been able to supply street lights and we have street lights in town. So, if anybody, if anybody, why we go to hell? Why we go to hell? Go to Zongo. Zongo Chiefs Compound. We have a chief compound there. Go to Bonia. Go to Bonia. It is there. Tell it yes. Tell us that it is not true. They should tell us that what we are saying is not true. The police will come. Let the police come. Let the police come. So, so the part the that we are talking about. So, the chips compounds we are talking about. It is not about just building a chips compound. We are supplying them with things that they need to work at the hospital. Now, every chips compound has a motorbike. You have benches. You have a delivery bed. We have a laying bed. At every point, Zongo, Bonia, Saboro. It is there. Now, the chief, the Soko project, I don't know whether you've heard of it. Soko. If you've not heard of Soko, yes. Go to Naga and see the uh, bedroom apartment that is there. Go to Mayoro and see what is there. Go to Dover and see what is there. These are things that we have done that you can easily see. Look at that. They are there. We can see them. Nobody, okay. nobody is telling lies here. These are the things that we have done. Okay. These are the things that we have done over there. Okay. We are yeah. not telling lies. Okay. We will not tell lies. Okay. Now, so, so we've, now, seen, we've seen some of the projects now, on the screen. Last one. Okay. Now, somebody, somebody, because we are not honest enough, 
somebody here said that we should show one road that we have constructed. And somebody from that particular community where the road is, is saying there's nothing road. Go from Pumu to Natunia and see whether there's a road there or not. Natunia road from Pumu to Natunia. Is there a road there or not? So why are people living there? The roads are there. These are the roads are there. Why are people telling lies? Telling us. Let, let people tell us that what we are saying. All right. That's your time. That's your time. That's your time. That's your time. That's your time, MC. That's your time. That's your time. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm going to come to you. I'm All going right. to come to you yes. now. Do you, do you want to respond to any of the things that Yes, please. Said? I want to respond to a few lies they have just said over here. With the manhole, with the manhole at the opposite the hospital, I, by then I was, the, His Excellency, the late former president, Mills, Appointed me as government of the assembly. In the, in the MC's, the DC's uh, of, uh, session address, first meeting, I was there. That project came out that we should look at it and continue with that hole over there. We were in the second session when we were in the second session when letters came in. We were in the second session when letters, we were in the second session when letters came in. When letters were dropped in the assembly, when letters were dropped in the assembly, that the project. It's owned personally by the former MP. Yes. So we should take our hands from it. Yes. Now you came to power in 2016. 2017, you took over power. Eight good years. What have you done about that project? For fear that I was doing the project for the people of Nazongo. It was over. What did you do as an MP? You did nothing over there. Number two. Number two. They talked about, they talked about Makuyomo did nothing for this uh, constituency. That is a blunted lie. They are just led, they are just, they are, they are, they are, they've learned from Bahuya's lies. The, the, the station here, the station here, has been, was being built by Honorable Makuyungo and his Excellency John uh, uh, Mills. Now the, the road from the Drongo to Gia, the road from Drongo to Gia, to Gia, it, has, it was being constructed bridges by the NDC government. Oh, it's in the high secondary school center, a brand new school was built by the NDC. A lot of projects. They have done nothing for this country. They have done nothing for this constituency. Okay. The small town water supply okay. system. Okay. The small water supply system in the Rongo. Okay. It is NDC that brought it. At a means, they were commissioning it. No, yes. no, 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 no. They are not saying that. See, no. They are lying. Yes. Let's have some silence. When, silence, silence. They don't know. Silence. L silence. They don't know. Silence. Silence. They don't know. Silence. They don't know. Silence. They turn on if rehabilitation. Quiet, we'll close. They turn on. If you don't keep quiet, we'll close. They turn on rehabilitation. Please keep quiet. Please. Please, please, please. The rehabilitation please. of the tunnel dam and the canals. Where, uh, where, 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 where uh, that control was awarded during MD system, Mama's time. They went to the Bina Radio, MPP communicators, that Mark Uyungo and Mama sold the tunnel uh, uh, education project. And that if you fetch water with a bucket, from the canal, you will pay. Try to incite the community against the government. Now it is the same project today they are trying to take glory. It is NDC project, not their project. NDC started it. They awarded it. The NDC awarded the contract, that project in 2016. So MPP has nothing to show in this group. Now, to end, to end, now, is it, is it a debate? Are we here? Are we here to hear from our aspirants what they can do? For the constituency, or it is for assembly to tell the project they are doing. We are here I want to, to know. listen to the constituents and answer their Good. questions. So, what should they be assembly? Those are, those are common for assembly projects you are showing. They, are you, you, what, what did he do? What is he going to do as a MPC? Right. What is he going to do as a okay. PC? Okay. Don't, don't address him directly. Don't address him directly. Don't address him directly. It's not a debate. Don't address him directly. 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 Without so addressing the each other. Lies, all right, we know all right, all right. Nothing. We are coming we back. Nothing. We are coming back to the microphone. Okay? So please, enough, enough, you, enough, are enough. Yes. you are not a spokesperson of the PC. We are coming back. You are not a spokesperson of the PC. We are coming back to the microphone, please. We are coming back to the microphone. We'll take two comments from here and two from here. Okay, please go ahead. All right, thank you very much, TV3. My name is.
my name is Benjamin Abuga. Before I ask my first question, I want to find out whether it is the MCE who is the candidate of the MPP or the other person. Can you go ahead and ask your, your specific question you want them to answer, please? All right. Go ahead and ask your specific question. Yes. Please. That, that clarifies. My first question is that anybody in Avrungu knows that signature projects like a university has been institutionalized in Navrongo by the NDC. Signature projects like a model senior high school, OLL senior high, was built from scratch to completion. I want to ask the MPP and their candidate, what is their signature project in Navrongo since time immemorial? My second question. Hello? My, my, my second question is that at the time of John Mahama, we knew his policy direction. The policy direction of the NDC under John Mahama was infrastructure development and then a solid foundation for growth. So he went ahead with infrastructure development across the country. I want to ask the MPP and their parliamentary candidate, what is their policy direction? as we speak today. And he, the candidate, what is his policy direction for, as we speak? Navrongo, Thank you very in much. Terms of, in, in terms in, of... In terms of... Over the... In, in terms of... In, in terms of the constituency and the nation as a whole. Okay. 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 Let somebody else... Let somebody ask a question. Let somebody else... Ciao boy. When you move it, it goes off. So you don't have to touch it. Yeah. Ciao boy. When you move it, it will go off. So, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. No, let oh, let the gentleman speak, please. Please let the gentleman speak, please. Go ahead, sir. Thank you very much, yes, TV3. Sir. Yes, sir. I want to make a simple statement to Ghanaians, not to anybody, to Ghanaians. In 2000, are you listening, all of you? In 2000, in 2000, Okay, so in 2000, it was said, yes, it was said that the world was going to end. Did you hear that? That the world was going to end. Calm down, please calm down. And in Uganda, please calm down, Uganda, calm down. In Uganda, calm down. A particular church, the pastor brainwashed intellectuals who were in the church, and they paid themselves to death, to, to, uh, to ashes, because they, they, the pastor told them that. The world was going to end. You know what I'm telling you? MPP can easily brainwash Ghanaians. And then you will go and vote them. And then they will burn them. Their slogan is Kukrudu, a she. Today, when you go anywhere, they say I a she. The Kukrudu, I right. a she. All right. What I'm going to tell you. All right. If I say to Mahama, you say um, 24 okay. hours economy. Okay, 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 okay. If you don't have a question, please, it's okay. If you don't have a question, please, it's okay. Let's come to the Hello. side, please. Please, yes. please, when you come to the microphone, ask specific questions. This is not a campaign or rally platform, okay? Please go ahead. Now, good evening and good evening to all your production team. My name is Moses, the MPP constituency secretary for Navrongo. Our PC, Honorable Alhaji Abdallah Otito Achiluwa, has done a lot of projects in Navrongo. We can count over 50 of them. He has drilled over 10 boreholes. He has provided dual decks, chairs, and tables to students. He has reconnected our GES office to the national grid. He has provided textbooks to school children. The recent BEC. He fed the, the students from day one to the last day. I want to ask the NDC PC, apart from the single borehole that his general secretary, sorry, the national chairman came and commissioned. Do you have a question? Do you any other project Do you have a question? Again, now. Do you have a question? They spoke about the university. Do you have a question? Yes. Okay, please go ahead My and ask your question. My question is that they spoke about the university. UDS was an affiliate of, of the Tamalwa, it was a faculty. It was the MPP that gave it, that gave it an autonomous status. The MPP gave it an autonomous status. 
the peace is to tell us what he has done. All right. Again, Next now, question. my last question. My last question. I want the PC to tell us, the NDC PC, to tell us what he has to do for Navrongo people. Because something that will, will bear fruit, you know it at the beginning. Our All PC right. has shown the way. Okay. What has their PC done for the people of Navrongo? All right, next person. You've already spoken, haven't you? You've already the spoken. Why, the reason why I'm here is that the PC told a lie that he dug a borehole in Zuo. I asked him. He said he dug a borehole in Zuo. I want him. I want them to show the borehole here so that everyone see. I'm my brother here, Gabriel. He's from Zuo. He should come and tell us where he dug the borehole. They came. They came. It's a lie. Gabra, Gabra, to come. This is another brother of mine. Is that the, is that the ball hole? Hey, wait, 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 wait. This wait. ball hole is by the MPP. It's by the MPP. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. Please, please. You see? That, that, please. That is why. It's okay. Please, yes. please. That is why. That is why I said. Please. That. That is why I said. Okay. Please, please, please. Let me speak. Let me speak. That is why. That is why I said. He doesn't know. He doesn't know Navrongo. He know if he knows Zua. He don't know Zua. That boss. He doesn't know Zua. Okay. We got a boy. We'll allow them to answer. We'll allow them to answer. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me come back to you. Let me come back to you. Um, Honorable, do you want to speak or do you want MC to speak? Do you want to speak or do you want MC to speak? This is, the, this is our last opportunity to speak, okay? So please address everything you want to address and let's wrap up. This is our last opportunity to come to you. So please address everything you need to address and give your final message to your constituents and then we'll come um, to the NDC side. Please go ahead. Yes, thank you very much for another opportunity. You see, I want, I want everybody here to know that when we are talking about development and we are talking about what a parliamentary candidate has done, even before he becomes MP, there is no parliamentary candidate who has done a presented job in this constituency more than Alayo Tito. Because the, the, the reason why they call me action man is that when I talk, I do. I don't, I don't promise and fail. When I talk, I do. For the first time in the history of the Brongo, I fed these candidates for the four or five days of the examination. The, I did. I also, for the first time in the history of the Brongo, the municipal uh, the education office was cut off from electricity for three good months. And I, individual, as, a, as an individual, paid 24,000 years to restore power to that place. I, 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 I as a parliamentary candidate, have drilled over 15 more holes as a parliamentary candidate, not even as an MP. I, as a parliamentary candidate, I have donated drugs to the, the, the Bronco prisons. Over 20,000 citizens were drugs in the Bronco prisons. I, I donated drugs to the Colombo Health Center. I donated drugs to the Mayoral Health Center. I organized two health screenings at Colombo and, and Mayoro. And I, 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 I also want to let them know that as a, as a parliamentary candidate, as a parliamentary candidate, Yes, as a parliamentary candidate, they, I have also provided uh, uh, street lighting, street light for the whole constituency, street light for the whole constituency to enhance security. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, I have roofed. I have roofed four four schools that have been ripped up by storm. The St. John's School, the school dormitory was ripped up by storm. I went and roofed it. Two year old school. The whole school was ripped up. They, they just showed it. I went, I went and grouped it and painted it. Bonnier, Bonnier school. I went and grouped it. And then, uh, uh, Savvy school. I went and grouped it as an individual. So, if I am still a parliamentary candidate, and I am doing this from my own resources, if I become a member of parliament for this constituency, the, the kind of development that I'm bringing to this constituency will be unprecedented. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll take your final remarks also. You have exactly four minutes. You have four minutes. Thank you very much, Anna. Um, A specific question was asked about the boreholes. 
and I yeah. ask that you allow them to roll so that the people can see. If you will allow, can you ask them to roll the bowl so that we say that they see what is actually done. It's not about coming to talk and lie because you think nobody will see what you've done. We will see the national chairman of the NDC commissioning board. If anybody is in doubt, that is evidence out there. And the, the national chairman has contracted three bowls. The rest of them have been constructed by myself. And so I want to expose the lie that they are saying that they construct the bowls. In his community. What is, what is this location? What is this location? What, where is this? Into the this, this bowl is in Kolbo, where the young man who asked the question comes from. It was commissioned just about last week when it came around. I have, okay. Apart from that, in Naga, we have commissioned where he comes from. Where he comes from. And we have built bowls for his people. As an MC, he cannot even give his people water to drink. I took it upon myself to give water. I have, but more importantly, the Navrongo Sports Stadium, which he says that he's going to do his final rally. Please allow them to roll the state of the stadium today. And we know that that is the state of the stadium as we speak. That is the state of the Navarro Central Stadium today. Today as we, that is the state of the Navarro Stadium. And that is the lies they tell Ghanaians. I want to ask, you and I know very well that it will take about a year to construct a very good stadium. We are not going to allow them to come and hoodwink the people again. It's not going to be another one village, one dam where they dig a, a, a bottle and say they're constructing a dam. But that is the state of the stadium. That is the person who wants to serve the people of Navarongo Central. He is not telling the truth. He cannot even be sincere with the people of Navarongo Central to let them know that if it is something he cannot do, he's telling you there are legal issues. At the time when Baumia came and he was telling the people of Navarongo that he would complete the stadium, was he not aware that there were legal issues that would solve the project? The, the Navarongo Naga Kolgo Road, please allow them to roll the state of the road. I want the Navrongo Naga Road. I want the Navrongo okay. Naga Road. Please, can you roll the Navrongo Naga Road? That road has become very deplorable. That is where the MC comes from. In fact, the MC sitting here was attacked by armed robbers, and his motorbikes was taken away from him. Ask him if it's not true. The MC was attacked by armed robbers because of the insecurity. That is the state of the road talking about. That is the road they're telling you. I have personally spoken to the contractor, and the contractor has told me that he has not been paid. This road has been installed since 2016. We awarded the contract, and then when they came, just like they did with the Coco Rose, they, 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 they abrogated the contract. We have one they minute. abrogated the contract and gave to another contractor. We have one minute. And for eight years, this has been the state of the road. His people are crying. I come from the same area as him. And that I mean, a lot of people have died on that road. A lot of people have fallen and broken their hands and their legs and go to the uh, finally give a message to your constituents. You have finally, 40 seconds. My more. message to the people of Navrongo Central is that there is hope coming. And that hope is them voting for me to become their member of parliament and voting for John Mahama to become president. All we right. can, under the 24 hour economy and under right. my own local policies for Navrongo Central, bring jobs to the young people, the teeming young people who are unemployed. Bring job to That's the team farmers. That's your Where time. Where fertilizer will That's be your sold time. at night. That's your time. Thank That's you. your time. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Honorable Abdallah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, MC. Thank you. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. All right. Don't touch me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Everybody who came out today, we want to say thank you so much to all of you. And thank you to the Member of Parliament. Thank you so much. That's our time today. Thank you.